Kilo Charlie 8, Whiskey Victor Golf. Whiskey Victor Golf, Roger, what's the name there? Name is Will. Roger, Will, and uh, whereabouts are you located, sir? Uh, Massillon, Ohio, Northeast Ohio. Alrighty, and what radio are you running today, Will? Roger, Roger. Well, if you'd be interested in a setup procedure, it starts with uh, you engaging your compressor at a three. It's a token amount, something you'll never hear on the air, but uh, it helps us achieve our in-game, in which is a three dB dynamic range. Roger. QSO, I have the comp set at three. You have it uh, set at three now? QSO. Roger, Roger. Okay, why don't you give me about 10 seconds, and let me look around and see if I can find a better antenna, a better path for us. Uh, uh, um, right now, my local antenna, but I'm running also four internet SDR receivers plus uh, three loops. So, uh, you give me about 10 seconds to tell me about your antenna system. All right, stand by. No, I, I need for you to tell me about your antenna system, if you would, sir. Okay, currently I'm using. Vertical that I've modified to get 17. Roger, Roger. All right, uh, so if we have a compressor engaged at a three, then let's move to our ALC with mic gain in hand. And the magic word is audio. And as you say audio, looking at your ALC meter with mic gain in hand, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is reading mid scale to two thirds. Roger. Yeah, that's that's close. Mid scales to two thirds is what we're looking for. And now, uh, why don't you tell me uh, one of the uh, things you like best about the uh, 7300 for a moment? Let me listen to your audio. Let me listen to your audio. Okay, I had an old icon uh, for you. 36, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, so when I retired, I got more involved in the ham. Roger, Roger, Will. Uh, listening to you on my local uh, radio, uh, where uh, you know it's very d a good uh, frequency response down to 100 cycles, uh, you're pretty light on the low end. Uh, you could uh, afford a little more uh, bottom end if you would like. I would suggest uh, uh, two clicks uh, uh, boost on the uh, bass. And uh, let me hear you on that, Roger. Okay, so you're minus one now, you were minus three, is that a roger? Roger. All right, I would bring that up to zero, bring it up to flat, and let me hear you there. Okay, now set it to zero. All righty, and uh, tell me uh, something I don't know for about 10 or 15 seconds, and let me hear you. Okay, well, uh, besides uh, amateur radio, my other uh, passion as far as a hobby is photography. I love travel photography and scenic photography. Uh, cover, uh, cover bridges and uh, nature. Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, I would suggest even uh, maybe a click more on the bottom end. You're you were really light there, so maybe one more click uh, if you would, uh, and I think you would still be uh, uh, nice and sharp uh, EQ wise, even with that uh, one more click uh, base boost, Roger. Alrighty, that's that's pretty good. It's still, you know, it's still not not heavy on the bottom end, but it's, uh, you know, it has more body to it than when we started. Roger. Body to it than when we started. Roger. Roger. Uh, I think I should push it up anymore. 
Uh, well, you might uh, might push it one more click. Uh, you've got room to, to do that. Uh, you get, like I say, you're still, uh, you know, on the uh, top end side. We want to stay that way. You know, I, I don't want uh, to bring somebody down flat on that bottom end because there's a lot of things that can happen to the signal that uh, usually are detrimental to the top end of the audio spectrum, like phase cancellation uh, and stuff like that, which starts its uh, its cancellation from the top and works its way down. So the first thing that you lose is all the top end. So for that reason, I don't want to to uh, you know, suggest a really heavy bottom end uh, because uh, it, when you when that uh, occurs, then all of a sudden you have no top end and all this bottom end, so you become muddy. So, but you have uh, uh, I think a couple of clicks uh, uh, to expand on that bottom end, Roger. Uh, to expand on that bottom end, Roger. Roger. Uh, just to give you some info too, my treble is set at plus three currently. Roger, Roger. Now, I'm assuming that you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, bandpass mode, Roger? 2900 uh, bandpass mode, Roger. Uh, actually, I'm in uh, mid, and I have that set 300 to 2500. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you want to run that radio in... Uh, 100 to 2900. It's such a beautiful radio. It's a, it's. All I mean, could we a, a send to run it in less than 100 to 2900, Roger? Less than 100 to 2900, Roger. Roger. Uh, give me one second here. Okay, now I'm 100 to 2900 uh, for the uh, transit bandwidth. Yes, sir. Well, it just sounded like you you opened the door and walked into the room. Just, just beautiful, Roger, Roger. Just, just beautiful, Roger, Roger. Roger, though, well, that's good to hear. I'm using a high ICM uh, boom mic on this currently. I have a high headset and, uh, of course, the stock ICOM mic too. Would these settings work uh, as well with those, or would they need fine-tuning, you think? Uh, you would need fine-tuning. Every mic is different, uh, you know, uh, not only level, but the, the characteristics of the frequency response. So, uh, you know, we get you set up on, on this one. If this is what you normally run, you know, I, I, w I would think that, you know, you just uh, absolutely perfect uh, with this this microphone, Roger. Uh, with this, this microphone, Roger. Roger, well, that's certainly good news. So, uh, gosh, uh, you know, Will, you're sounding so beautiful there, buddy. Uh, if you might happen to have a, a radio story to share with us, uh, uh, since your audio is sounding so beautiful, we really would appreciate that. So beautiful, we really would appreciate that. Okay, like I said, uh, was in him. Uh, next year will be 20 years since I got my uh, technician license. I had a brother-in-law that uh, he's 72 now. He's been an operator since he went to Ohio State back in the late 60s and kept pestering me to get involved in it. I've been a CB operator way back when and finally decided to get it. Uh, he's been a bit of an elmer for me and uh, he just recently moved up to Vermont with his wife, so hoping to get up there, we can. Uh, try to work some DX from up in his locale maybe this summer or fall, but uh, enjoy FT8 also, and uh, been a Skywarn operator for uh, about 10 or 12 years. Excellent. Well, thank you so very much, sir, and we'll have this uh, posted up on YouTube uh, by uh, noon tomorrow. Go to YouTube, do a call letter search, uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, and that will take you to this recording. We cut number one of uh, uh, 2,000 uh, some odd QCV log recordings, Roger. Mm, some odd QCV log recordings, Roger. Roger, Jim, I appreciate the help, and glad I'm sounding good out there. Yes, sir. You'll, you'll be able to hear the difference when you changed your uh, bandpass uh, to the 100 to 2900. And you, I, I'm sure you'll agree with me. It was like uh, just walking through the door, Roger. Like uh, just walking through the door, Roger. Roger, well, I appreciate all the help, and uh, I hope uh, you have a lot more people call in. I appreciate the guidance you're giving everybody. So I'll say 73. Maybe sit back and listen a little bit.
Kilo Charlie 8, Whiskey Victor Gulp with Kilo Charlie 9. Victor Kilo Victor, have a good day, Jim, and a great weekend. Roger, Roger, Will, 73, sir. Catch you later. This is the Friday afternoon QSO v like Net. My name is Jim. Jerry and Indy Mike, and if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.